know what, there are, there are recognised five essential elements for intervening after a mass trauma event and I find them really useful because we can all relate. What you need to do is to restore a sense of safety, a sense of calm, a sense of hope, a sense of efficacy so you are confident that you can manage and your community can manage and also connectedness between people so that we support each other and we work together towards getting back on track. You know, coming out of our research, we've also found just those social networks are really an important element, but also connection to nature. It's amazing how we feel an attachment to our natural environment and that can really help, help people to heal and to, to respond to recovery in the landscape and also in themselves. It is a particular interest of mine, the, the experience of children and young people, but also the role that they can play. It's really natural for all of us to want to keep our children safe, uh, but sometimes in protecting them, we treat them as passive and vulnerable, and that doesn't give them the knowledge and skills that they need to feel competent and to be able to be safe. And also we often underestimate the contribution that they can make and the fresh ideas that they bring that adds value for all of us, not just for them in their recovery. And so I would really advocate for uh, a sort of a, an involvement of children and youth in decision making. And perhaps I think it would be fantastic to establish a na national youth resilience network to act as leaders for young people and to represent their voice going forward and to really operationalise their involvement. Look, it's critical, they need to be part of, of their own future and their present, let's face it. Uh, and we've actually been working with young people and established this amazing website, and, and I'm saying they have established this amazing website that talks about their climate superpowers and what they can bring to the field in their everyday life, but also in broader society. And I think that their fresh take on this is really important because it's very really empowering and it's very easy for all of us to feel defeated by the, the existence of climate change. And what we want to do is still provide hope and to still provide a sense of efficacy. So once again, those, those principles for disaster recovery apply here. There absolutely is an interplay, you know, when we're teaching children about disasters, the risk environment that they live in and how they need to live within that. It's also really helpful to teach them to be educators because in taking on a role of knowledge bearers, they also then can contribute to broadening that, that knowledge and um, contributing to decision making. So I think that's a, a really pertinent point that you're making, that the learning goes with the leadership.